Hi. 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 Hi, good to meet you. Hi, good to Hi. see you. Now listen, I didn't realize that you're also Russian Jewish, Catherine with a C. You? I am Catherine with a C, Russian Jewish. You are? Yes. I totally didn't know that. I know. That's Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great. Me too. Oh my God. Well, you know what she's famous for? Dying while f***ing a horse. That's, that's us. That's the thing. <laughs> that's exactly right. I didn't know that you would know that. Well, so we, so clearly we that's both the have lore. the same line when anybody asks us about that's our right. name. Yeah. That's right. You're here because of your book, Grace right. Notes. Grace Notes is a memoir, a memoir. When I read these, and I know you, and I read uh, the pages and I thought, gosh, this is, it's brave, man, it's brave. It started as journaling to my children because I wanted them to know the things that I've always wondered about and I don't have parents to ask. My parents died early and so I don't really have any living relatives. Mm -hmm. So I wanted them to always have memory of who they were when they were younger, who I was when I was younger, so that they could always refer to <laughs> the how not to do things. <laughs> right, right. I mean, it was how not to do things turned into how it all, things work out anyway. You know, you famously, when you got the Married With Children part, you chose that outfit and you put that on Peg. Oh, Al. I wish you wouldn't touch me though. <laughs> yes, it defined the character, but it's also a screen. It's not laying yourself bare. Jesus Christ! As Gemma Teller Morrow in Sons of Anarchy, there was also a screen at a tough girl, badass, motorcycle chick. <gasps> but in this book, you're like, hey everybody, see it? See it, costumes are off, clothes are off, bears are down. You know, my, my default is always that I'm a little afraid of things. And then I, I've, my experience is then I walk through it and then I'm not so afraid of it. Anything that ended up on the cutting room floor? I have some raunchy stories. Like, uh, I first you. started working for Bette Midler, my very first day at rehearsal. <laughs> I walk in the door and there's a pair of shoes that goes flying across my face as she's taken them off and thrown them at her manager. No. Because she was in a rage. She was yeah. in a bit of a rage. And I thought, oh my God, that's my boss. <laughs> and she was she was kind of kooky in those days. But that's she liked raunchy. that story. That's not raunchy. I didn't want to paint her as being quite the, you know, the the hard ass that she was in those days. You know, if she, she even though she thought it was funny. If she hadn't been such a hard ass, maybe she wouldn't be Bette Midler. It's true. Right? It's really true. Do you think that still holds true in Hollywood and in entertainment that, you know, a powerful woman is a bitch and a powerful man is just a man? Uh, yeah. God. I do. When is that gonna end? I don't know, but I think it still lingers. And I think that it's, you know, a lot of dudes with mommy issues. <laughs> Well, can we can we fix them? I mean, frankly, I think uh, Peg Bundy. I don't think everybody's that way. Issues, by the way, I, maybe, and I don't think like everybody's that way. I think there's a lot of respect as well, but I still think that we're, you know, we have head, we we have moves to make. Can you reveal something to us very quickly? What they'll find in the book. You'll read about my extensive musical background. I don't know if that's you know juicy enough for you, but I'm a musician. And a lot of people don't know that. Well, why don't you sing us out then? No, I'm not gonna, no, Come no, on. no, no. Come on. No, God, she she's says so pushy. she's a musician, but she doesn't sing. Well, she does. That's Katie Seagal's little thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go she's buy my gonna, record, I have oh, a new man, record out. I'm, I'm teeing you up and everything. No, I'm not gonna do it.